Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the uh, split function in Power Automate by passing a value here from our Canvas app to our uh, Power Apps input in our Power Automate job. So um, I'm going to pass in a comma delimited uh, list of values. So I'll pass in apple, orange, um, banana, cranberry, strawberry, and these are not necessarily in the order of my preference or anything like that. <laughs> but um, anyways, this is what we'll pass in. I'm not going to hit submit yet because we have to make some changes in our Power Automate job to deal with this. So let's initialize a variable. It'll, we'll call it the fruit array. And it'll be an array type variable. And then right here, we are going to use an expression of split. And that split is going to be on the expression text. And then we want to make sure we provide a delimiter in between these two quotes here, single quotes. Um, and that delimiter is a comma. So then we hit OK, and our expression is in here. So this, this variable is going to store now an array of um, those values, OK? And then in our condition here, what we want to do is, well, let's see. Um, we have a function we can use called first and last. So uh, if you like strawberries, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and um, grab the last value. So what we'll do here is essentially do an expression here where it's um, first of fruit array is equal to strawberry. And if it's not equal to strawberry, well then it's going to cancel our flow, right? So if we succeed, if it's equal to strawberry, um, actually I have this backwards. <laughs> if it's, if, if this should be a, a last, right? So, so let's just swap this for now. Let's make this, um, let's make this apple. Sorry, all you strawberry fans. This is an apple. If it's an apple, then it's going to go this way. If it's something other than an apple, then it's going to go this way. And we can try it with both. I'll show you how it all works. I'll show you the last function as well. So let's try this out. Let's pass in these values. And so it just ran, it succeeded. That tells us that it did validate. And that makes me feel really good. Okay, now, what if we passed in um check this out what if we swap these what if we said strawberry and apple at the end what's gonna happen it's canceled because the condition wasn't satisfied. It was looking for strawberry, it found apple. So sorry, or actually it was looking for apple, it found strawberry, right? Yep, it found strawberry. That was the first element, but it was looking for apple. So now let's swap things around. Now let's do, um, in our condition, let's use the last operator here. And what, one thing that you can do as a shortcut is just type in last and just click update and then just always hover over here and just make sure that it actually worked. So if the last object, um, or I should say if the last array element is Apple, which right now it would be if I submit it this way, then I'll succeed. So let's go ahead and uh, save our flow or our Power Automate job, whatever you want to call it. And then let's go ahead and send in this value. What we should expect is a succeeded. Yep. So we have a succeeded Power Automate job because it did find that value as the last 
array element. So this array element, we parse through the different index. This is index zero, yeah. one, two, three, wow. and four. It went to the last one, which happens to be four. Um, if I reverse this and I say, um, let's make, let's actually take Apple out of the equation entirely and just submit it, right? What do you expect will happen? It'll cancel because it couldn't find the value that we were trying to give it, right? So we were asking, I want to know if it's equal to Apple. If the last parameter is equal to Apple, then give me stuff. I could have said if the last parameter is equal to Apple or if or the first parameter is equal to Apple. So um, that's how this works. Um, so a little bit of combination of split, um, initializing array variables, understanding indexes, um, and then obviously executing all your be beautiful logic whenever things go the way that you planned. So if things are true, generally you want to do stuff. If things are false, you might want to do something or you may want to do nothing at all. Thank you so much for watching.